Hi, I'm Petty Officer Shimmick, a Petty Officer First Class on the historic ship Nautilus out of Groton, Connecticut. Today we're talking about Captain John Philip Cromwell, the most senior member to receive a Medal of Honor in World War II. He was born in the town of Henry, Illinois in 1901 and joined the Naval Academy and graduated in 1924. His first command was the USS S-24 and later went on to command the USS S-20. Later after, he commanded a wolf pack flying his flag on the USS Sculpin. In late 1943, they deported on their first war patrol from Pearl Harbor. Off the coast of the island of Truk, they encountered their first convoy, which was five destroyers and one freighter. Moving away from the convoy, they went underwater to avoid them. Upon servicing, the quartermaster noticed on the horizon one destroyer that lagged behind purposely. The destroyer moved towards them, forcing them underwater. A series of depth charges was dropped towards the sculpin, damaging gauges and knocking out lighting. After hours of damage control, the Sculpin came to the surface, still finding itself less than 5,000 meters away from the destroyer, forcing the skipper to call for emergency deep once again. John Cromwell was counting the depth charges the whole time and knew that the destroyer only had a couple left. The destroyer made one last pass, dropping one last depth charge on the Sculpin, cracking the hull in two places. This forced the submarine to surface. John Cromwell authorized a attack using deck guns towards the destroyer. As they were shooting, the destroyer fought back, killing the captain of the Sculpin and damaging the ship. Due to the knowledge John Cromwell had of the Japanese offensive and the overall Pacific War strategies, he didn't want to be captured and tortured into telling the truth using physical or drug measures. So he chose to go down with the ship as they were fighting with the deck guns instead of sacrificing the information he had to the enemy.